Hello everyone, welcome to the second chapter of science that is the acids, bases and salts. Very simple chapter and very much realistic chapter that you can connect to a real life. And I'll be giving you lots of real life examples, uh, showing you many experiments also. So definitely you will enjoy this chapter a lot. And one more thing is, uh, it is the most important chapters for the board examinations. Uh, you will definitely get around 7 to 8 marks from this particular chapter. And the challenging questions that you get for the examination is uh, the MCQs and one mark part. Okay, so these two parts are very important in the question paper because most of the application questions can be asked in this particular part, MCQ part and one mark part. Uh, and from this particular chapter, you will be getting some MCQs and one mark also. So you have to concentrate a lot. Uh, usually application questions can be answered only if you know the concept perfectly. Keep this in mind and try to understand each and every concept that I tell you in a chapter. Uh, definitely you can write each and every question that comes in the examination. Fine. Okay, let us quickly go to the chapter. Acids, bases and salts. What actually we study in the chapter is about acids. You are going to learn the chemical definition of acids. You know the definitions of acids and all you have studied in your previous classes also. Like class 8, 7, you have studied this, right? But here uh, you are studying the chapter in a very different way. You are studying more of chemistry here. Okay. So how do you define an acid chemically? How do you define an acid chemically? Define a base chemically? Okay, so they have a very different meanings when you come to chemistry, right? So those meanings you are going to study and you are studying uh, about the indicators like how do you know which is an acid or which is a base, right? You should have some test to tell whether something is acid or base. So you are talking about the indicators later and chemical properties of acids and bases also you are studying. Chemical properties in the sense chemical reactions. Okay, acids can react with what type of substance? After the reaction, what are the products you are going to get? How do we conduct those reactions? Right? And what are the various gases that can be released after the reaction? And how do you test those gases? So all of them you are going to study in a chapter. Yeah? And it is quite a big chapter I can say. Not very big chapter like medium type of a chapter where the concepts are very much fundamental and very much essential to study those fundamental concepts. Clear? Okay. So let us go for the definitions of acid and base today. So what is an acid? Normally at your younger classes like earlier classes you must have studied Acids are the substances which are sour in taste. Yes or no? So what was the definition you studied at the previous classes? Acids are those substances which are sour. Sour in taste. Right? Sour in the sense like tamarind is sour. Lemon if you taste, the taste we call it as sour, that is sour, okay. So any acid when you taste it, it is sour in a taste, okay. But the real meaning of acid in chemistry is, look at the definition that I have written on above, the substance that gives H plus ions, okay. All acids definitely contain H plus ions. So the substance that gives H plus ions, okay, during the chemical reaction, simply, simply they won't give you H plus ions. During the chemical reaction, if they are giving H plus ions, then those substances are called acids, okay. Say for example, example, okay, HCl. HCl, hydrochloric acid, it has hydrogen, right, it has hydrogen, so during the chemical reaction, 
our HCl will break into H plus ion and Cl minus ion. Okay. Actually, any chemical substances you take, you know, they are made up of one positive ion and one negative ion. Here everybody, any chemical compound you take, they are made up of one positive ion and one negative ion. Hmm? Say for example, NaCl is there. And NaCl when you break it normally, it will come out as Na plus ion and Cl minus ion. Say chalk piece, as I told you, chalk piece is calcium carbonate, right? And when you break this calcium carbonate, you know, you have Ca plus 2 ion and CO3 minus 2 ion. Like that, any chemical compound or molecule you take, you know, it will contain one positive part as well as a negative part. If the positive part is hydrogen, if the positive part is hydrogen and if it is giving that hydrogen very easily, then that particular substance we are calling as acid. Clear everyone? So acids are the substances. They contain H plus ion compulsorily. Okay? In a molecule. And during a chemical reaction, they can able to give that H plus ion. That is the reason they are called as acids. Okay? Definition is very important to remember. I repeat once again, the substances that give H plus ion is called acids. Okay? Example, hydrochloric acid. We will call it as acid. Why? Because it has H plus ion. Okay? So, it has a positive ion H plus, hydrogen. And this hydrogen can come out very easily during a chemical reaction. That is why hydrochloric acid is called as a strong acid. Okay? Fine. And now, acids are of two types. We will discuss the types of acids. Okay? Types of acids. How many types are there? Two types. Two types of acids. So, what are they? Strong acids. First category is strong acids. And second category is weak acids. Okay? Remember, there are two types of acids. Strong acids as well as weak acids. And now we are going to discuss what do you mean by strong acid and what are the different examples that can come under strong acid and what do you mean by weak acids and the examples that can come under weak acids. Okay? Fine. So take a heading. Strong acids. Strong acids. So the name itself says strong, right? Strong. So what is the meaning of that strong? Listen to the definition carefully. Strong acid is that acid which can undergo complete dissociation in water. Dissociation means breaking. Okay? So these are the acids the moment you put it in a water, they will completely break down into H plus ion and another negative ion. Okay? Clear everybody? So you can write down the definition in your book. Strong acids are those acids which completely, completely dissociates, dissociates in water. In water. So what do you mean by dissociates? Breaking. Remember the word dissociation. That means breaking. Okay. Got to know? Say for example, if I break a chalk piece, I can say it as I dissociated the chalk piece. Okay. Dissociation means it is breaking. If one molecule is there, if you break that molecule, you will get ions. Ions in the sense positively charged particle and negatively charged particles. Okay. So strong acid is the acid which completely dissociates in water. Okay. 
For example, HCl is there. Example HCl. The moment I put HCl in water, it will break down completely into H plus ion and Cl minus ion. Clear? And H plus ion is also called as proton. Remember, another word for H plus ion, it is also called as proton. Okay? Fine. See, what do you mean by the word completely dissociates? Say for example, I took 100 molecules of HCl. Okay? I took 100 molecules of HCl and I am adding it to water. All the 100 molecules will break into H plus and Cl minus. That is the meaning of the word completely dissociates. You should carefully understand the meaning. How much ever amount of H plus you take and put it in a water, the entire amount is breaking, undergoing dissociation into what? Into ions. Okay? Where one of the ion is definitely H plus. That is the reason no, we will call it as acid. Okay? So this is the definition of strong acids. And now, what all the examples that come under strong acids? Examples are very, very, very important to remember. Okay? You must know what are strong acids and what are weak acids. Okay? Along with the examples. Fine. The first example, HCl. We will also call it as hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid. Okay? Second most important acid is H2SO4. We will call it as sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid. Third one, HNO3. Okay. It is called as nitric acid. HNO3 is called nitric acid. Next, H3PO4. Phosphoric acid. Phosphoric acid. HClO4. Chloric acid. Chloric acid. Okay. So these are some examples of strong acid. Okay. So only these examples are enough for the 10th standard level. So try to remember these examples. So what is a strong acid? Strong acid is the acid which completely dissociates in water. The meaning of completely dissociates means if you are taking 100 molecules of HCl, all the 100 molecules will undergo breaking that is dissociation to give ions. Among the ions, ions in the sense charged particles, charged species or uh, elements are called ions. Okay. So among the ions, one of the ion is compulsorily H plus. Okay. So that is why these are called strong acids. Okay. And now let us go for weak acids. Weak acid. See the definition here. Acids which does not dissociate completely. That means... Say I will take acetic acid. CH3COOH is called as acetic acid. And this is the acid which is present in vinegar. Okay. And yeah definitely the moment you put it in water. It will break up into H plus ion and CH3COO minus ion. Okay. It is breaking into ions definitely. Definitely you should break into ions. It must give H plus ion. Then only you will call this as acid. Otherwise we don't call them as acid. The one which is giving this particular uh, uh, ion or species, no? Then those particular substances are called as acids. Otherwise you don't call them as acids. So acetic acid is a weak acid. It is also giving H plus ion and one negative ion. But the difference between strong acid and weak acid is... Say, if you are taking 100 molecules of acetic acid, 
ओके आउट ऑफ हंड्रेड ओनली फिफ्टी मॉलिक्यूल्स में अंडर गो डिसोसिएशन लाइक दिस और ओनली फोर्टी मॉलिक्यूल्स में ब्रेक इन टू एच प्लस एंड दिस नेगेटिव आयोन वॉट टू नो बट हियर वॉट है इफ यू आर टेकिंग हंड्रेड मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑल हंड्रेड ऑल हंड्रेड मॉलिक्यूल्स आर अंडर गोइंग दिस डिसोसिएशन बट हियर इफ यू आर टेकिंग हंड्रेड मॉलिक्यूल्स only 50 molecules are undergoing breakage into h plus ion and negative ion right so such acids are called weak acids okay so the difference between strong acid and weak acid is very 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 important okay here you see the definition completely dissociates you see the definition here does not dissociate completely okay if you are taking 100 molecule all the 100 molecules will break into ions but here if you are taking 100 molecules only 50 molecules or 40 molecules or 30 molecules may break into h plus and negative ion okay so such acids are called weak acids and what are the examples that can come under weak acid hcl okay we will call it as hydrogen cyanide the name of hcl is hydrogen cyanide okay and the second example is ch3cooh we will call it as acetic acid acetic acid and the third example is c6h5cooh benzoic acid benzoic acid so try to remember these three examples under weak acids examples for strong acids examples for weak acids their definition and in depth meaning is very important now we will go for bases right coming to bases okay so normal language in your previous classes what was the definition that you have learned for bases you learned it like the bases are the substances which are bitter in taste is yes or no bitter bitter in taste say for example baking powder if you taste it will be very much bitter hmm? and uh, the vegetables few of the vegetables also say for example ridge ridge guard if you taste it it is very much bitter right because it contains certain amount of bases so bases are the substances which are very bitter if you taste it okay but anyway you can't judge which is a base and which is a acid just by tasting it you can't taste them because few will be very much strong and if you taste them it will get hurt you will be getting hurt right so now anyway coming to the chemical definition for bases look at the definition the substance that gives oh minus ion what was the acid which ion it gave you h plus ion here bases will give you oh minus ions okay oh minus ion is called as hydroxyl ion hydroxyl ion okay remember the word oh minus means hydroxyl ion okay fine and again here also two types of bases you have strong bases and weak bases so what do you mean by the strong bases the substance that dissociates completely the meaning is same okay if you are taking 100 molecules of strong base all the 100 molecules will break into positive ion and negative ion and the negative ion is definitely oh minus okay say for example naoh is there okay naoh is a strong base so when i put naoh in a water or when it is ready for the reaction no it will break into na plus ion and oh minus ion okay see hydroxyl ion you have got that is the reason this is called base okay so if you are taking 100 molecule okay all 100 on 100 molecules will undergo dissociation like this breaking like this okay that is why it is called as strong bases 
So what are the other examples that you can remember here is the first example as I told you NaOH is very important and what is its name? Sodium hydroxide. It is called as sodium hydroxide. And the second example is KOH, potassium hydroxide. Potassium hydroxide. Both are very, very strong bases. Remember guys. Okay. And the third one, calcium hydroxide. Hmm? Barium hydroxide. Magnesium hydroxide. Magnesium hydroxide. So these are some strong bases that you have to remember. Clear everybody? Okay. And coming to the weak bases. What is the definition? The substance that does not dissociate completely. You know the meaning of the word does not dissociate completely. Isn't it? That means if you are taking 100 molecules of a base, only 50 molecules may break into positive ion and hydroxyl ion. Or only 20 molecules might have broken. Yes or no? So that is the meaning of weak acids. Okay? And coming to the examples. Examples for weak bases. Okay? So the first example, famous example is ammonium hydroxide. Just one example try to remember here. Ammonium hydroxide is the example for weak bases. Okay? So this is a very small idea about acids and bases. Their definitions are important. Acid, which ion it is giving? Base is giving what ion? Okay. Uh, different examples under strong acids and strong bases. Different examples under weak acids and weak bases. So this is the very much fundamental basic idea that you should have on a chapter. Okay. So in the next class, we will talk about the indicators. Okay. Revise this. Study the textbook. Hmm? Analyze each and every concept. Very well. And if you have any doubts, you can put it in a comment box. Thank you.